Good afternoon, everybody. This is Jason Burnfield. I'm going to go over a brief uh, introduction of my corner cube reflector hydrogen line telescope for scanning the Milky Way. Um, and I'm going to go through how I do uh, a quick vertical scan. <clears throat> so uh, let's get to it. So this is my three wavelength hydrogen line corner cube reflector antenna and uh, it's uh, it's basically just a corner of a cube that's uh, the dimensions are three wavelengths by three wavelengths by three wavelengths which is uh, uh, the wavelength is 21 centimeters so um, three wavelengths comes out to around 25 inches on all the sides um, and underneath you can see uh, the main components so we have um, the RF connection to the uh, to the um, monopole in the antenna and then we have uh, a low noise amplifier bandpass filter assembly here and it has a switch on it that allows me to switch in a um, 50 ohm termination uh, so I can calibrate the system and correct for uh, for uh, contributions to the actual of the amplifier and the rest of the active circuitry to to the response, so that we can have a flat response. And then here's the uh, the software defined radio RTL SDR, and um, then I have a USB cable hooked to my laptop, and I'm using just uh, uh, SDR Sharp and um, and then I'm using a, a utility called Chronolapse to take uh, screenshots, then to um, to capture my my scans. The way this antenna works is it actually uh, it has a beam width of um, 30 degrees horizontally and 20 degrees vertically. And the definition of horizontal is uh, parallel with the the plane of the the bottom surface here is the horizontal and then kind of uh, kind of halfway between oh, I'm sorry, not parallel to the, this surface Par uh, so parallel to this surface is the vertical axis so coming up um, from this plane and sweeping up and uh, the direction that the beam is pointing is roughly 45 degrees to each of the the planar surfaces and so along along this axis is the 30 degree beam width and along this axis is the 20 degree beam width so um, and it's actually pointed uh, straight up right now it's looking vertical and um, and I've got it oriented so that um, it's uh, it can be adjusted along the plane of the the Milky Way, which is vertical at at this point in time. So I'm gonna go through how now I uh, how I do a scan.